Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our introduction to MailChimp series. And in this video, we're going to take things a step further, further from just simply designing our list and importing subscribers or manually inputting them to creating sign-up forms and landing pages using some of the more advanced tools available in MailChimp. And once you learn how to use these tools effectively, uh, they are really going to help you capture additional contact and client information, manage that information, really grow your list and create uh, engagement. So these are very powerful tools. Now, I just want to remind everybody, these are the introductory videos. We've got lots of other great content available, both free and for purchase at our learning platform at Thinkific, which is linked to in our description box of this video. Also, take a look at some of the other items on there that are at absolutely no cost to you. In fact, some of them will actually either put money in your pocket or save you money. And there are ways that we help monetize this platform, help us pay the bills and increase the production value right here. So we appreciate you taking a couple of minutes to, to look through that product description list, the uh, sponsors that are in the description box. Some of them might be mutually beneficial. Okay, so you'll notice now after our last video, these uh, subscribers were imported. There's duplicates, uh, but really not showing any significant growth there. Uh, so what we want to do now that we have a list is we are going to create a sign-up form that is associated with that list. And I'm going to go into some detail about how important and powerful that is. Uh, the reasons may become obvious to you as I explain it. I'll try to do a good job demonstrating the power of these forms and these, these tools that MailChimp offers. Again, what I, I love about MailChimp is once you learn how to do this stuff, it's absolutely free. Uh, and, until you hit like 20,000 contacts. So uh, if you have a list of 20,000 people that you've collected and, and you haven't figured out a way to monetize that, uh, you need a better product, quite honestly. But okay, so let's go here to test, which is the list that we created. Uh, and if you come over here to this drop down menu, it's going to give you uh, some different things, you manage them, go to your settings, import, export, replicate the list. But right here, this one is really important, sign up forms. So let's go ahead and click that. And it's going to take you to a bunch of different things that are available. Now, starting from the bottom, okay, form integrations. These are if you have an existing Shopify or e-commerce store, MailChimp automatically integrates with a bunch of stuff. So uh, we can get into that a little bit more uh, on our Thinkific platform. A similar thing with the subscriber pop-ups. This would be if you, you already have a site and you'd like it, uh, MailChimp to pop something up to try to entice them to, to provide a name and an email address. Uh, with, you give them an offer or a lead magnet of some sort, including that pop-up and its a way of capturing information. Embedded forms. Uh, this is, again, something that you would use to generate HTML code, embed to your site. But let's go right to this top one that's just form builder and i'm going to click select these are very very simple clean basic forms uh, that you can utilize uh, to help you grow your list so if you go right here the form response there's a, a bunch of different things that you can do in this let's just stick with the uh, the sign up forms for right now Let me clear some of this junk out here. So the first thing that's going to pop up here is, is the list name itself, okay? You can edit that. You can remove it. You can use an image. You can do whatever you want with that. Um, let's say use image for a second here. Okay, no files in there. So uh, real quick, let's open up a new browser tab and go to Google. And let's just say that you wanted to, you were marketing for Google, for example, and you wanted that to be the image that you use. And you can use whatever logo or company platform. So I, I use this software called Nimbus. Uh, anything that will give you a, sort of a selected screenshot will work fine. I'm just going to come over here and get a nice cropping of that. We're going to save that. That's going to go into our images. It'll take that just a minute to pop up here. Here it comes. Let's 
So if I click that upload button, apologies for the delay here. It's going to come right to my downloads. Okay, so now it's uploaded, and we're just going to click, select it, and click the insert button. Save and insert. We'll talk about linking the URLs and all that stuff later. Oh, look at that. I've got my nice pretty logo at the top of it now. All right, let's talk a little bit about what fields that you want to collect here. Uh, I personally think that uh, anything, you know, Anything more than first name, last name is is, is a bit much. Uh, most people are pretty hesitant to give out their phone number unless you're trying to talk about SMS or things like that. Uh, so if we just click this, we can delete all these off. Again, I'm looking for clean. I want this to be simple. I don't want any hesitation from... Uh, the prospects part to give this information. I want the I want this to be quick in it. Uh, up here it says click to add a message. You know, personalize this. You can adjust the font, make it look however you want. I like to have a little something on there right from the start. Okay, so we've got that in there. And I'm going to take this and center it, and let's blow it up. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Get that out of there. But let's make it a little bigger so that it pops a little more. You can tinker with the font. That nah, still too small. Let's maybe make it bold. And this works just like a word processor, anything you've ever done in Microsoft Word or any of those programs. I don't know, it still looks a little bit small. Size. There we go. Now it pops up. Okay. So, and I don't like the email up top there, so I'm just going to left click this and slide it down and drop it. And you can shuffle and move this stuff around. So all I'm doing is left click on my mouse and dragging it down. Drag that up. Okay, first name, last name, email, subscribe to list. Kind of plain Jane looking. Let's see if we can color it up a little bit. That's in the design phase of this. Uh, let's see the background. Okay, so background is this. This, this represents a color. Uh, I like blues. They tend to show confidence and trust and leadership. You know, take around. You can make it blue. You can make it red if you want. That's kind of purpley looking. Maybe go a little darker. I don't know. What if we go way down here? Well, that's going to get in the browns. You know, get comfortable with it. Tinker around. Nothing set in stone. You come back in here and change it whenever you want. Okay. And again, you can tinker with all this stuff as well. The body, the header, the wrapper, all that good stuff. What we've got is a really nice, plain-looking, clean form here that's just going to collect a first name, a last name, and an email address. Uh, I like to add a birthday on there as well. Uh, we'll. We'll talk about birthdays in a later point when we get into some automation and things like that. Uh, but it's basically ready to go here. Let's go ahead and click the Create button. No, that's something else. I'm sorry. That's if you want to go into a campaign. Okay. A couple things. Uh, first of all, you're going to notice that you've now published this. So this is now a hosted web address that MailChimp is publishing. So if I just copy that and I go back to that Google tab we opened up, and I get rid of all this, and I paste it, you will notice that it goes right to that form. And if somebody fills that out, they're going to subscribe. Why is that important? Well, 
if you're collecting email addresses, rather than go to that sign up form, you can just go right here and publish it through a posted form. And that'll collect whatever information you want. Uh, you could copy and paste this link and text it or email it to somebody, and it would then be a clickable link. Um, or uh, one of the other cool things, and you know, you could send it as a Facebook message, share it as a link there. You could tweet it out if you have followers on Twitter. This is one of my favorites right here. Get a QR code for your sign-up form. You know, these QR codes, I, I really think they're going to become a bigger deal. Uh, they're not yet, probably because the iPhone 6 was the first phone that you didn't have to have a separate app or open up a Google Chrome browser or anything like that and click a button to scan it. You open your Apple phone up, if it's a 6 or better, or newer, I should say, uh, and you just open your camera and you point it at that thing right there, it's going to open this page up or provide you with a link to open that page up. So what I might do with this is just take this, okay, and do a screenshot of that. And save it. And it's going to show my folder. I'm going to copy to the clipboard. And let's say we want to do a new, uh, just open up a new doc. Oops, I don't know why I'm having so much difficulty with this. So I'll just take this and just to give you a quick idea what's possible. There we go. So, and you could design this fly or have a professional donor insert this QR code anywhere you like. Uh, throw an incentive or a lead magnet of some sort out, encourage people to scan the code, to click through. They scan the code. It goes to this page. They pop it on. They end up on your list. So there you have it. So, guys, that's a quick overview on sign-up sheets and QR codes. And I hope that you find the video very helpful. And if you have any questions, please, please, please leave them in the comments section below. And I will shoot more video to answer those questions and link back to them. So thanks, everybody, for your attention. I hope you found the video helpful.